Hey guys, Shampoo Productions here coming back at you with another Transformers video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Transformers Legacy and more specifically figures I'd like to see within Legacy. Now obviously Legacy has given us kind of a, a wide variety of figures. We've gotten a few, uh, we've gotten a couple Beast Wars figures, we're getting G1 figures, we're getting Transformers Prime figures, and we're even getting some G2 designs within Legacy as well. So this is just kind of a list of figures I'd like to see within Transformers Legacy. If you have any other like character designs or stuff like that you'd like to uh, like to just kind of share, be free to leave in the comment section below because I'd love to be able to hear your opinions on it. So uh, yeah, feel free to comment in the comment section. But starting off with, I want to talk about the Transformers Prime characters and get out into the more bizarre character designs. Um, starting off with Optimus Prime, I'd be very curious to see how they do Optimus Prime. Uh, for a Transformers Legacy figure, given the fact that they are doing Transformers like G1 designs mixed with the Transformers Prime aesthetics. So I think it'd be really neat to see that. I'd also be really curious to see a Cliff Jumper and a Wheeljack character for Transformers Legacy. Obviously, we've already gotten Bulkhead and Legacy, so I think it'd be really awesome if we got Wheeljack. Obviously, they were like best friends in the show and they were both on the same record team. So um, I'd be curious to get a Wheeljack figure. And it'd be really cool to see some of the records in general from uh, Transformers Prime, but I highly doubt that'll happen. Uh, Cliff Jumper, I really like the character from the show. I'd be really curious to see an updated rendition of it. Uh, I think that it'd be easier to do because his car mode was a little bit more squarish in design. Um, and I think it'd be easy to kind of update that character uh, for Legacy. But again, just kind of a hunch. I don't think they'll do Cliff Jumper, but I got a feeling they'll give us a Wheeljack later on down the line. Again, I have no confirmation of this. This is just theories and ideas. For the Decepticon side of things, I'd be really curious to see Megatron. Uh, Megatron had a very kind of, I would describe it a little bit more unique uh, design for Megatron himself, but I'd be curious to see how they give that G1 stylization to Megatron. I think it was a really cool design that they gave us in TFP, but I think it'd be really neat to see in a updated legacy format as well. I think they could do a lot of cool things with that figure. So that's about it for the Transformers Prime characters. Just, you know, the characters I can think of that I'd like to see. I think it'd be cool. Uh, again, let me know if you think there are any more characters that'd be really cool to see. I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, for other characters... Transmetal figures. Now, Transmetal, I kind of thought they'd do for Kingdom, but they never did. Um, I did a video on why I thought they would give us Transmetal figures in Kingdom, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll link the video in the description below. But they've given us Tarantulas in Kingdom, and I think they've given us another Beast Wars character in Kingdom. I could be wrong. I think it may just be Tarantulas. But anyway, the point being, I was curious to see if they'd give us... Transmetal figures in Kingdom, they never did, but I'd be really curious to see updated Transmetal figures now. I think it'd be easier for them to do since they're branching out into all sorts of different um, kind of uh, styles of figures. So I think Transmetal figures would fit in pretty decently with this toy line. I'd be curious to see maybe like a Depth Charge or a Rampage or characters like that, or maybe like a Transmetal Cheetor. Um, characters like that since they are still giving us some Beast Wars designs. Um, so yeah, just Transmetal figures in general, I'd be curious to see if they'll do that. I don't think they will, but it is an idea. Just be cool to see. Um, the 13 Primes. I'd be curious to see if we get any updated renditions of the 13 Primes. Reason being is because we don't really hear much about that anymore. It was talked a lot about in the Transformers Prime show, and that's really kind of where a lot of it ended. Um, but I'd be curious to see if we got a Transformers, uh, uh, Nova Prime figure as well. I think that'd be really awesome looking. I think they could do a lot with that figure. I think it'd be really good looking. But, uh, as far as the 13 Primes go, I'd be curious just to get some more of the Prime figures. Just see more of the 13 original Primes. That, that'd be awesome to see some of those character designs, uh, brought into a figure format. Because there's not a whole lot of figures on the 13 Primes in general. Uh, speaking of the 13 Primes, a Megatronus. Uh, obviously Megatronus was like the first Decepticon and um, specifically a design I would like to see just brought into a toy format is this design right here. I think it looks really, really cool, and I think it'd be a really good figure, and I think Hasbro could do a lot with it. Um, I just really like this design for Megatronus. I think it'd be an awesome figure. Uh, and there's not a whole lot of Megatronus figures in general. Uh, we got a uh, Titanium Diecast figure a while back, but I think other than the R.I.D. Robots in Disguise version of Megatronus, 
that is kind of the last we ever saw the character, so that'd be really cool. Um, for some miscellaneous characters, I'd be really curious to see Bludgeon or Lugnut. Um, reason being, Bludgeon and Lugnut are really cool like character designs that haven't been revisited um, in a hot second. Well, I take that back. We got in Transformers Cyberverse a rendition of Lugnut, and we got in Transformers R.I.D. a rendition of Bludgeon. But to be honest, those figures weren't exactly the best or meeting like modern figured standards. Uh, I definitely think they could be a, a whole lot better if they were brought into the Legacy line where Hasbro could actually engineer them properly, but I doubt they'll do them, but it is just a uh, just an idea. I, I'd be curious to see if they did that. I'd be really happy to see them do it because I really like the designs for Bludgeon and Lugnut, and I think it'd be really cool to see, but you know, there you have that. Um, but that's about it. Like Those are just figures and suspicions I'd be really curious to see if Hasbro will actually do. Um, it'd be awesome to see them do it. I'd be really happy to see them touch up on some of these characters. But um, yeah, I definitely want to hear your guys' opinion, your your guys' opinion in the comment section below because uh, you know more thoughts and opinions can trigger other thoughts and opinions, and it can just lead to a whole branch of ideas. And I'd be really curious to see what you guys have to say in the comment section below. So be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. But that's all for me, Champion Productions. Signing off.